In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a glossy logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it Main and drag the logo to the timeline. I'm using the simple logo found on Google. I'm going to hit S and adjust the scale to 170. Then right click the logo and select Precompose. I'm going to name it Logo and make sure Movable Attributes is selected, then click OK. Let's now right click New Solid and name it Map. Then go to Effects and Presets and search for Fractal Noise. Add this to the map solid layer and set contrast to 150 brightness to minus 25 complexity to 1 open up transform drop down and check uniform scaling and set scalar height all the way to 600 then make sure you at the beginning of the composition create keyframe for offset turbulence go to six seconds and change the x value to 15 or 1600 that'll create a very simple animation that we need let's now right click the map select pre-compose and let's call this map as well click ok place the map layer under the logo comp then click on toggle switch mode until you see the track mat column and set map track mat to alpha mat. Now we can use the simple animation as the reflection map. So let's go to effects and presets and search for CC glass. Add this to the map comp. Open up a surface drop down, select bump map to logo and properties set it to alpha Then set softness to 50, height to 100 and displacement to minus 100. Then open up light drop down and set light height to 100, open up shading and set metal all the way to zero to get a really nice and glossy reflection. Now let's search for CC blob eyes in effects and presets. Add this to the map comp as well. Open blobbiness. Set blob layer to logo. Property to alpha. Let's set cut away to zero and softness to 50. Then open up shading. And again set metal all the way to zero to get nice reflections on the edges. And that's how our logo looks now. Really glossy and reflective. And if you try to preview this, it might be a bit heavy, so you can always drop the resolution. And once you're happy with how the logo looks, we can select both of these layers, right click and select pre-compose. I'm going to name this logo underscore gloss. Now we need some sort of background. I like to use this background from pexels.com. So I'm going to drag it to the timeline. You can use your own background, drag it to the timeline, right click on here, pre-compose. I'm calling it BG. And let's add brightness and contrast to decrease the brightness of the picture. So you, you, that might be different for your texture. So I'm going to set brightness to minus 150 and contrast to 100. Let's create a separation between the logo and the background. Let's search for drop shadow in effects and presets. Add this to the logo glass. Set opacity to 100, distance to 0 and softness to 100. And if that is not enough, you can always select the drop shadow, go to edit, duplicate and have two drop shadows to create even more of a separation between the background and the logo. Then let's right click, new adjustment layer, and let's call this effects. We're going to add a bunch of effects to this adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and the first effect will be CC vignette. Add this to the effects adjustment layer. Set amount to 300 to get a nice vignette on the edges. Now let's search for uh, noise in effects and presets. Set amount noise to 4% and then check use color noise. Then let's search for curves. I'm going to create a slight S curve to bring out the contrast, then switch to blue channel and slightly increase it to give our scene a blue tinted look, which I personally really like. Then let's search for camera lens blur. This effect's really heavy, but it's worth it because it looks really good. Let's also search for transform, it'll be under distort. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the composition and scroll up to the camera lens blur and create a keyframe for blur radius and also for the scale in transform and the opacity in transform. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set blur radius to 16 and opacity to 50. Then move to 2 seconds. Then set blur radius to 0 and opacity to 100. Then move to 6 seconds and set scale to 120. Then drag and select all of the keyframes. Right click on any of them. Keyframe assistance easy. So you can press F9 as a shortcut. Then go over to the graph editor by clicking this button. And if your graph does not look like this, right click and make sure you're in edit speed graph. Then let's select the left keyframe and drag the handle all the way to the left, holding shift so they snap into place. Let's select the second keyframe and also drag it to the left. Then let's select the scale keyframe at the right and drag the handle to the left all the way. Let's exit the graph editor and preview all we've done. As you can see, we have a nice fade in. So let's now create a fade out animation at the end. Let's go to six seconds. Set camera lens blur back to 16 and opacity to 50. Now let's go back 1 second to 5 seconds. Set blur radius to 0 and opacity to 100. This way we'll have a similar animation to the beginning, but it'll be fading out at the end. And that's essentially how our logo reveal is looking right now. 
And in case if your logo has color so I've prepared that so let me demonstrate that. Let's go back to the logo glass and let's go to the project tab. So I'm going to drag the same logo that has colors at the bottom of the stack in order to show you that it is really simple to show the colors through the glass. All you have to do is change the mode of the map layer. For that click on toggle switch modes until you see the mode column and set the maps mode to hard light. Then press T for opacity and set opacity to 75%. Then select logo and map comps and duplicate them by going to edit, duplicate. Then select the second map layers mode to screen, then hit T for opacity and set opacity to 50%. And that's how you can bring the original colors if you're a logo to this animation. And if we go back to the main comp, it will be all updated and ready to go. So one thing I like to do is to create a smooth transition from the silver color to the original colors of the logo. For that, let's go back to logo gloss comp and search for linear wipe effect and add this to the logo, the colorized logo. Let's set wipe angle to minus 90 degrees and set feather to 100. Then increase the transition completion until you no longer see the color of the logo and create a keyframe for transition completion. Let's go to two seconds forward and decrease the transition completion until your logo colors are back. Then press U to see the keyframes. Select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant is ease. And just go to one second mark and offset the colorized logo to one second. That way the first two anime will be the silver logo. And after a second or so you'll see the original colors of your logo slowly animating in from the side. Which I think looks really really cool. Let's quickly add particles by right click new solid. Let's call this particles and in effects and presets search for CC particle system second. Add this to the particle solid layer. Open up producer drop down, set radius X and Y both to 100, select the center point and place it at the bottom middle point. Then open up physics, set animation to direction, velocity to 0.2, gravity to 0. Then open particle, set particle type to faded sphere, then set both size to 0.1 and depth size to 0.1 as well. Set size variation to 100, max opacity to 100. Change the color of birth to white and death color to something more grayish. Also set birth rate to 0.5 so we don't get as many particles. Then select the particles layer on the timeline, press T for opacity and set opacity to 50%. Let's go ahead and do one full preview of our logo animation. And as you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome glossy logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins or any extra map layers and such. All we had to use is just the texture for the background and the logo itself. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a like. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.